I guess, exception yeah. for just one. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Four, like three, oh, two, it's going, dude. one. It's early. It is 5 a.m. It's 23 degrees outside. But we're going to Florida. Approach Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa on the ground at Lawrence. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Boston Approach. Good morning, looking for the IFR to uh, Mike Charlie Zulu. That's affirmative. Number 7 Hotel Papa, looks like it's going to be a full route clearance this morning. They're cleared from the Lawrence Airport to the Mike Charlie Zulu Airport via radar vectors to Vogue Stock Intersection. That's Bravo, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar, X ray. Sector 1, Graham, Golf Romeo, Alpha, Yankee Mike. Sector 14, Norwich, which is Oscar Romeo Whiskey. Sector 16, Richmond. Sector uh, 157, Lima, Victor Lima. Sector 155, direct. Maintain 2000, expect uh, 6000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 124 decimal 4, squawk 3540, and hold release. Okay, just confirm after Lima, Victor Lima, that was, was it Victor 155 and then direct? Well, that was uh, Victor, Lima, Victor Lima, Victor 155 direct. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, so after Victor 155, we need uh, either like a point or, I mean, we can go Lima, Victor Lima and then direct, but we can't just do an airway and then direct from that. So, so, Papa, very good. I'll make the amendments for uh, Lima, Victor Lima direct, and uh, if I can't find anything before you get airborne, then uh, I'm sure we can figure out something further down the line. Victor 157, Lima, Victor Lima. One button here, send it to the panel. Okay, that looks good. Okay, controls are free and correct. This stuff's all set, everything's in the green. Trim is set for takeoff. Everybody uh, buckled up? Yep. Nope. Okay, did controls, instruments around the fullest tank, we have gas, attitude, that's all good. Run up, we just did. Boston approach, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, ready to go at Lawrence, we using runway 5. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, climb entering still there, space to our clear direct to the Boat Stocks intersection, climb and maintain 3000. And a release for departure, claim void if not off by uh, 1035, if not off by 1035, advise ATC no longer than uh, 1040 of intention. Time now is one zero two six and a half. Okay, direct Bosox three thousand were released. Void one zero three five. Attention one zero four zero. Bonanza three six seven. Hotel Papa. And on top of a repack is correct. Boston Approach Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa 1400, climbing 3000, direct Botox. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Boston departure, good morning, Ident, climb and maintain 6000. Ident up to 6000, 7 Hotel Papa. 7 Hotel Papa, radar contact, 2 miles north of the Lawrence Airport, Boston altimeter 3031. 3031. Okay, so it's 530, we just took off from Lawrence, we're going to climb up to 6000 feet. Burn about 400 pounds of fuel and land somewhere in North Carolina for fuel, refuel, fly down to Florida, probably refuel again. Uh, the information they gave you there was uh, is just essentially checkpoints on the way to the next, uh, next stop. Okay, so if you just uh, take this, you can see where we're at, you can see the whole route, all the traffic around us. If you can hotel grab that, traffic, hold on. 3 o'clock and 3 miles, going to be turning southeast down shortly at a 3.5 or 5 on uh, Which canvas bag, Matt? I see a... 7 o'clock, look. That is absolutely spectacular. Amarok, wow. 203, heavy traffic, no factor, con maintain, 1-1000. Con maintain, 1-1000, That was ridiculous. That's really that cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's really close. That's awesome. Okay, so the sun's finally up. 
We've been in the air for just over two hours. We've got another hour and a half to go to our fuel stop in uh, somewhere in North Carolina, Martin County, Williamston, North Carolina. We stop there, get some fuel, and then uh, head on down to Florida. And we're going to go on, go watch SpaceX launch the most powerful rocket since the Saturn V for the first time, and then land two of the boosters back at Cape Canaveral. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But right now we're just kinda working with ATC to get a little better route. They originally gave us this kind of long winding thing that was like 40 miles out of the way. This kind of took us to North Carolina, but not to where we were actually going. So instead we asked for the one that just went direct. We got that, so we got that now. And talking to Dover approach. I guess one disclaimer, like in general, 20 hour days of, of flying aren't like you know a great idea but in this case also a good opportunity to introduce everybody we've got three pilots four MIT aerospace engineers we got a couple pairs of eyes on everything so this is Sean you've seen him in I was uh, in the uh, Red Bull Air Race right yeah so he's, he's been in one vlog vlog yep Lockie back here um, well he's he's the one that threw up <laughs> in the uh, in the flight shops vlog and then uh, he's, he's helped me shoot a bunch of other stuff. So I don't, I don't know how he hasn't ended up in a vlog yet, but he's, he's shot a bunch of stuff. Then we've got Christine, she's another pilot, helps shoot stuff. And then we've got Kieran, who is he's learning to fly. And we're all heading down to watch this launch happen. We've also got a extra little addition today, this uh, second voltmeter down here. I've been having some electrical problems. You've probably seen that on like Instagram and, and stuff. So still troubleshooting that. I have no one's quite figured out what the problem is. The voltage just ends up sometimes, but not most of the time. Just occasionally jumping all over the place. So we're trying to figure out if it's just an indication error or what the problem is. We replaced the voltage regulator, the alternator, like all, all kinds of connections. Um, current working theory is it's either static electricity buildup that's not being dissipated properly or it's just some bad ground wire somewhere or something else. So, you know, maybe maybe somebody's got a solution here has had a similar problem. Let me know in the comments. No one I've talked to seems to have any idea what's going on. So I'll grab some foggles here. I have to do an instrument approach by the end of the month for currency. So we got Sean as the safety pilot. I'll go ahead and throw these on. So uh, you're watching for traffic. I'm watching for traffic. Get these on. And then uh, we're going to want NASI for the uh, glide slope intercept at 1600. 200 feet until minimum. Minimums. 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 Got the runway through the last notch of flaps. Toss those down there. And bring the power out. The autopilot is doing a remarkable job. Like that's that. This is pretty sick, actually. Like, auto land, almost. I mean, I wonder what would happen if you pulled the power out right there, so that it would like pitch up to try to maintain the glide path. You're, you're talking about the Dodge Caravan, there. No, not the caravan. The van, aircraft. The van. Oh, the aircraft. okay. Because I heard you were a van guy. The caravan so. is like the most unremarkable <laughs> piece of yes. automobile crap ever. Hotel Papa. Fans of 36 Hotel Papa, uh, call back in five minutes. We're splitting off some frequencies. Okay, so we're back in action. We got about, what, three and a half hours to go to right, the uh, Adler, three hours to go what's to the point Alpha? Florida. Right. Number 367 Hotel Pop, contact Seymour Johnson, approach 123.7. Good day. <laughs> okay, well, Seymour Johnson on 123.7. 7 o'clock. Good day. Uh, Okay, so now we're down to 12 gallons per hour. So, now we're getting 12 miles per gallon. So at this speed and everything, 
That's two, but we're gonna need to go faster than that. What's three, wait, it's 10, so that's 11. Two. Two. So we do have to go faster. Yeah. Oh, and Sandra's friend also uh, invited us to go to the uh, strip club with them after the launch to celebrate, because apparently that's what SpaceX people do. Oh. <laughs> so we're going, obviously. <laughs> Matt, do I accumulate miles for this flight? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're aware, but launch has been delayed till 2.20 p.m. for upper level, upper level wind shear. Ah, uh, damn it. <sighs> we had it so good. You guys were jinxing it with the we had it so good. They wouldn't give us flight following. So top, you guys going down Maybe we went and tried to find the ship. Someone top base firm. We just heard it's delayed about uh, 50 minutes or so. Yeah, that's uh, the last we heard, so uh, that should be a pretty good show. So now that we've got some extra time, since the uh, launch is slightly delayed, one of the things I've been meaning to do for a while now zero nine zero, is a little Q&A. Leave Orlando comments at read every one, and that's where I got these questions. Some people want to know, like, if I have anything about flying around the world. Like, I do have plans to make a, a video telling the whole story of flying around the world. So just subscribe if you're not already, and then you won't miss that. I get a lot of questions about what gear I use for the descriptions of all these videos. There's a link to all the gear, the cameras, drone, audio recording stuff, batteries, mounts, everything. Um, I get all the music for my videos from Epidemic Sound. You can use the link in the description. You get a free trial of that, and it helps support you know, this kind of content so I can make more videos for you guys. Absolute favorite part of flying slash aviation. Um, I guess really just like the freedom. You know, like you can get in a plane and just go anywhere. I get a lot of questions about how to start flying. Um, basically, just you know, find a local airport, find a flight school, um, an instructor that you like, and you know start taking lessons. A few people have asked like, if I've thought about upgrading to a Cirrus or something like that. Um, I used to fly a Cirrus. I would never go back to a Cirrus. I mean, you just do so much more than Bonanza. Like, you can hold six, five, six people, bags, um, go 1,500, 2,000 miles at a time. So you can just do a lot more with this than you can with Cirrus. And uh, the same goes for like, you know, this versus the 210, which you guys kind of already see, know, know my thoughts on the 210. If you haven't watched you know, all those 210 vlogs, uh, what do I do on long flights, like this today or whatever? Listen to music, you know, all these headsets have Bluetooth. Uh, so actually, another thing that I've uh, enjoyed recently is just using Audible. So uh, you can listen to audiobooks as you're flying and you know, learn all kinds of stuff. So right now I'm reading this book about Apollo 8 by Jeffrey Kluger, uh, which is really especially relevant today, you know, that was the first manned flight of the Saturn V. Uh, today is the first unmanned flight of the largest rocket since the Saturn V. Got the uh, shuttle landing facility, the VAB, and I you can think see that's, the rocket. Yeah, I think that's Falcon Heavy. North 367 Hotel Papa Space Coaster. Yeah, 367 Hotel Papa, uh, we got the uh, 150 in sight. 7 Hotel Papa, that's what I was calling you about, sir. You're number two, runway uh, nine, clear to land. Number two, runway nine, clear to land, 7 Papa. I think one of these jets is Elon. Elon's is... tail number is 628 Tango Sierra. Oh, 628 yeah. Tango Sierra, that's well, it. That's that one. 158X. Some people here are saying that the actual reason the launch is delayed is because Elon just rolled up. Uh, so I don't know if that's true, but apparently these three are going to a couple Gulf Streams and a uh, Falcon 7X are apparently Elon Musk's SpaceX, something like that. Number one, two, two, I did not, did not see your ident. Uh, numerous aircraft in the class Delta uh, and also just slightly above, too. Seems like everybody and their brother wants to watch the launch today, so. <laughs> uh, I didn't, again, I did not pick up your ident. Seven. Oh, 
I'm gonna come off. What? There's just so many flames there. What's that? What's that old PC like old uh, video game where you're a spaceship and you try to dodge other spaceships? <laughs> oh. Galactic destroyer. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so keeping our eyes peeled. If you're flying around in the vicinity for the uh, rocket launch, just maintain VFR, frequency change approved, unable services for that. We'll do a 9-8. Okay. Okay. So, so much for that. Frequency change approved. We'll listen to anyway, just see what happens. 9-8 is here, roger that, sir. But he's somewhere else. Oh, I see him. See him? Okay. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's like three targets right there. Good. One's I got one right here. Below. One's, uh, one thousand okay, below. I got him. Yeah, so as soon as we're going to pass behind him and then make a right turn. And 153, traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles northbound, I'll communicate 4,500, traffic not in size, just you turn 30 degrees right, just then I maintain 3,500 immediately. Uh, 153, roger, radar service, terminated, squawk 1200, free exchange crew. Squawk 1200, And then we got the guy behind us, 1,000 above. So this guy is just going straight past us. Yep. We're gonna go just like this. Fortunately, we can outclimb most everybody here. Exception yep. for just one. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Four, three, holy two, shit. It's going, dude. one. As nice. Holy as shit, as look as as at as that. Two, two, four, two, two. South would be uh, less uh, Damn. saturated, it looks like. It's in the air now. Oh, yep, shit. just launched. Got a rocket over here at about three o'clock going off. The uh, rocket's in the air. That is so cool. That's so Dude, bright. It's like the Falcon 9 one. It's I mean, that really like, bright. even brighter than Falcon 9 was. Oh, of course. It's like way though. brighter. Like, it's just crazy. That is so, so cool. We're on eight, we're take Come off. on, explode. A hand fly. Three, five, four, four, whiskey, space that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It's so bright when it takes off. Damn, damn, damn. Four, 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 four
And now there's a Tesla on its way to an elliptical orbit around the sun. Like a ton of cars just pouring out. Look at how many people are on the beach down here. It's just as far as you can see, lined with people. It took seven hours to get down here, a couple hours waiting on the ground, and it's over. Triple five one seven five. Car, Cardinal 8 Tango Charlie, final approach, final 6 tip up. Cardinal 8 Tango Charlie, runway 6 number 2, following Traffic Bonanza, short final, middle end. 8 Tango Charlie, following the Bonanza, on short final. Bill Harrelson's Lancer here at Flagler Executive, somewhere in Florida. You got a nice restaurant, Hijacker Restaurant. We're gonna check that out now. He set the uh, world record for the fastest polar circumnavigation a few years ago, and uh, also like the longest non-stop single-engine flight. Flew, flew from like Guam to Florida in 26 or 30 hours, something like that. So another round-the-world pilot. I haven't seen him around here, but Bill Harrelson's plane. Set a runway, we'll get the gear up. Gears up. And we're climbing. And it's it's dark out here tonight. Jack's approach, Manhattan 367 Hotel Pop at 7000. Manhattan 367 Hotel Pop, Jack's approach. Good evening, Jack. I'll throw it to 3030. 3030. Y'all headed up for the parade? So we're uh, headed back to Boston. We flew down for the Falcon Heavy launch. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was. I didn't get to see it, I was working, but uh, I saw a video of it, pretty sick. Yeah, it was pretty spectacular. We got some video from 9,000 feet, it'll be up on YouTube on Friday. Nice. Yeah, those burners touching down simultaneous was pretty cool. Yeah, it was crazy, and they just came out of nowhere too, you know, they come down so fast and then just light off right at the last second. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go down for the next one. Okay, so it's been a long day, I've been flying for... I don't know, like 14 hours already. I mean, we, we took off from Lawrence like 14 hours ago, but it was totally worth it. We saw you know, this incredible launch. Now we're going to fly about another six hours in the dark. We're uh, heading to Wilmington, Delaware right now. Ice cream. Just go to Walmart and buy a Ben & Jerry's tub. Could do that. I also, like, I'm not even entirely sure I want ice cream. Like, I almost want more of, like, a dessert. Like, go to, like, TGI Fridays and get like a brownie with ice cream type of thing. You know what I mean? Ooh, that like, is... Like more substance. Like not just ice cream, not just a Frosty, not just like a cheeseburger. Like I want... Real American obesity. Exactly. <laughs> like like an appetizer or like a like legit dessert. <laughs> oh my God. Center Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Yes? Yeah, we'd like to change our destination to Richmond. Okay, what's the reason behind? Uh, they have a TGI Fridays that's open until 1.30. <laughs> <laughs> Internet 41, Connect Washington. No, I'm sorry, Rally approach 1.32.35. Uh, <laughs> 32.35, thanks for the hospitality from Endeavor 39.31. Do you respond to you? 
He started off like super unprofessional, like, yo, what's up? And then you came in with the, we want to change route because of TGI Fridays. <laughs> well, I mean, they have to, a okay, so here's the thing. Since 9-11, they're required to ask you for the reason when you decide to uh, change for destinations. Robinson, Romeo, Bravo, oh, so that, you know, like, the terrorist has an opportunity to tell them that they're hijacking the plane. <laughs> oh. So, I mean, it's just the dumbest thing. I mean, you're like, everybody changes destinations, like, hundreds of times every day, like, to go to the bathroom, to get Who something to eat, whatever. And to 7 on top of the direction via direct. Go to Richmond via direct, 7 on top, thank you. We're, like, 20 minutes out. This is going to be great. I'm so pumped. <laughs> now, what is this Tokyo drift action you're pulling? This is called a uh, forward slip. <laughs> so we... I thought you wanted to land long anyway. <laughs> well, I do, but just not quite this long. <laughs> I want to land on the runway. <laughs> okay, gears down. Props full forward. Mixtures, good enough. Speed's good. Leading off. Get it nice and straight. 1639, heavy push on to uh, Tango the Previous East Cross for UPS is also pushed. Christine, I'm still chewing that girl. Good evening, AC 5512. With you. To the Lima Whiskey Mike Airport by the Colin 7, Colin Victor 16 to Tuxman, Victor 157 as filed. Climb via the SID, uh, departure 126.75 uh, uh, and uh, 2411, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop. Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, wind 050 at 5, runway 2, clear for takeoff. Runway 2, clear for takeoff, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop. Okay, so it was a nice little refueling stop. Got six gallons of fuel, 3,000 calories. Um, much needed energy for these last, holy cr it's already midnight, damn it. Okay, uh, these last two hours to Lawrence. So we're gonna get to Lawrence about 2 a.m. This is like, this is the edge of what I can do in one day. Um, wouldn't be particularly fun without like Sean here. Just kind of, you know, second set of eyes on everything. Yeah, do you have any tops reports out here? Got some stars, total air temperatures too. There's some thermodynamics for you. No icing. The uh, static air temperature is zero Celsius, but because the air stagnates at the surface of the wing, the air at the surface of the wing is actually two degrees Celsius because it temperature increases as you uh, trade kinetic energy for thermal energy. Seven Hotel Papa, traffic 10 o'clock, five miles, turning east, north to eastbound, leveling at 4,000, dream letter. Seven Hotel Papa, looking. Traffic ball shuttle, 7020 heavy, there'll be a bonanza above you at five. Um, looking for traffic. Okay. Uh, we got the traffic this is the same thing that happened on the way down. down. They're gonna pass right underneath this again. And of course, please stow all large electronic devices. Make sure seat backs and tray sure. tables are in the upright and locked position. We've just been cleared to land. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, for flying the limitless the horizons. <laughs> hope you enjoy your stay in Boston. <laughs> hope to see you again soon. Actually, we, actually we, we hope you enjoy your stay in Lawrence, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> hope to have you back here real soon. Oh, it was the best of the day.